while the Toronto Raptors are different this year, their public persona is not. They are the NBA's or dot to hear them tell it, no one rates them, the league and its officials are against them and that's just fine by them. Fine. No, no, really. It's totally fine. Well, we don't know what we're doing, Coach Dwayne Casey said archly on Saturday. We're kind of just this old country school up north. If this is a motivational exercise, it's never worked. In order to feel affronted when someone insults or ignores you, they have to be in the wrong. In the Raptors' case, they haven't been dot since the 2013-14 season. The Raptors have amounted to a moderately sized speed bump for elite teams, large enough to register a jolt, but not so big that you'd need to slow down before you hit them. That's changing, and so perhaps the team's marketing line ought to as well. The Raptors aren't small obstacles anymore. They're dangerous. This past weekend proved it. On Thursday, missing two of their top three starters. Toronto annihilated the full-strength Cleveland Cavaliers. A half hour in, the only Cleveland player who had not given up was LeBron James. He went wild during a timeout, repeatedly cutting off his coach to scream at his colleagues. James embraced the darkness in the third. He sat out the fourth, 